All right, Shalom. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching the word and sincerity and truth. All right, brothers. I want y'all brothers to see this. Um, this is from RT, and this is what I saw in the feed. It says U.S. Salmon goes GMO by the end of 2019. All right, so you know us brothers of the know, we know that the food's already been defiled, you know, for years, and uh, we've been eating a lot of GMOs, you know, you know foods that we eat, you know, which are lawful. But Esau, being the devil that he is, he genetically modified, you know, the 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 foods. All right. And um, before I even play the video, let me go to the quick Google, which I have put in GMO meaning. And this is what it gives. It says genetically modified organisms. All right. So salmon, which we know to be tampered with it, you know, that they tilapia. I hope brothers don't eat that shit, you know. But now salmon, you know, which it already been more than likely. But they're officially making notice of it that it's ge genetically modified, man. You know, it's genetically modified. And, um, you know, we, we just pray that Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, take this devil out. Because as the scriptures say, if the days are not shortened, there will, be, there will no flesh be saved. All right. You know, GMO causes cancer. This is why in Europe they ban GMOs. You know, so this is the meaning, right? This is genetically modified organisms. It says a GMO genetically modified organism is a re is the result of a laboratory process where genes from the DNA of one species are extracted and artificially forced into the genes of an unrelated plant or animal. I'm going to read it again. A GMO genetically modified organism is the result of a laboratory process where genes from the DNA of one species are extracted and artificially forced into the genes of an unrelated plant or animal. And the Lord spoke about not to, to uh, cross seeds. You know, he spoke about that. And Esau being the wicked that he is, you know, he, he's done everything that's contrary of what the Lord told us to do and this is why the earth and why the mindset and the spirit of wickedness is is really took and rampant over the whole earth because we're in the time of his kingdom we're in the end of his kingdom also when the lord is going to redeem his elect from this wicked man and take us take the israelites out of the hands of you know out of the captivity from this wicked man all right and he's going to destroy you edomites man you know, you Edomites, you got to go. You have to go, man. Enough's enough, man. You know? And uh, they got the nerve, you know, they, they locking up uh, these, you know, degenerates, you know, two-third Israelites, blacks. You know, even Esau doing it. You know, they going into these stores, they filming themselves, spitting in food, licking ice cream. And, you know, this one, the girl that did that shit. She was facing 20 years, I believe, facing jail time. But but Esau himself feeding us genetically modified foods, modified organisms, all right? He's not going to jail, you know? About, de about damn near everything you eat is tampered with, man. And this is why we say you're eating fake food. People go, how is it fake? Well, it's fake because it's genetically modified, you know? And that's, and that's the uh, quick Google search. It gives you a whole lot. It gives you the, the rundown of what is genetically modified organisms. Results of a laboratory process where genes from the DNA of one species are attracted, extracted, and are artificially forced. Meaning one gene taken out of this into another plant or animal. It says forced into the forced into the genes of an unrelated plant or animal, man. So you can have genetically modified plants. You can have genetically modified meat, which is your cows, your chickens, and your lamb, your goat. All right, steak, whatever. You know, this is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. So 
you know with that being said i don't have uh precepts lined up this wasn't a planned lesson this is more on the fly and i'm gonna play some of the video and then i grab my precept lord willing this lesson be edifying to those of the hopeful elect uh he that got ears to hear let him hear All right, Satan. Satan. Let's look at it again. Some see a barber. I see a magician. I see. Well, genetically modified fish is coming to a restaurant near you. Now, at the end of the year, the first genetically modified salmon are set to go on sale in the U.S., but you might not know it. Our two correspondent Natasha Sweet has more on this upcoming menu change. Notice she said you might not know it because everything that's genetically modified is not labeled. You know, brothers, we go in the stores, we see it. You know, start looking at the label, looking at what's in it. You can't even trust this devil, you know, in, in uh, certain foods. You go to Whole Foods, you go to these certain farmer markets, whatever, thinking you're eating fresh food. But it could be genetically modified, too. It could have certain chemicals on it. And this is why we truly need Yahweh Bashem Shai. So that's why, you know, if you have the Whole Food Elect, before we eat these foods and drink, these drinks we drink, all right, we put them prayers up to Yahweh Bashem Shai over our food so the most high may bless it all right so he'll keep us from you know dying from the foods man okay see let me run that back you don't you talk about you don't know you might not know why you're not going to know and this is a topic that's not going to be on your fluff news it's not going to be on uh what is it uh fox 5 or abc this is on rot most people in the world let me say this, not most people, yeah, the people that are in the world that's are in the world and all they know is hip hop, school, uh, 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 mute, uh, all, you know, all they know is fluff news. They don't come across RT news, you know, which RT news can be fluff sometimes too, but this news be hit, it be hitting on those topics in which, 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 which you need to understand, you need to know, man, you know. Genetically modified fish is coming to a restaurant near you. Now, at the end of the year, the first genetically modified salmon are set to go on sale in the U.S., but you might not know it. Our two correspondent Natasha Sweet has more on this upcoming menu change. Genetically modified salmon eggs that are hatching right now could end up in U.S. restaurants as early as next year. And according to the company selling the fish, restaurants can get their hands on it before grocery stores. Inside a sprawling complex in rural Indiana, thousands of genetically modified salmon eggs are hatching into tiny fish. Each fish will grow to about 10 pounds in these tanks. After receiving clearance from the FDA, the eggs were shipped to the U.S. from Aquabounty's Canadian headquarters last month. The early stages of production here uh, are very, very similar to the rest of Atlantic salmon production um, at, at the moment. The salmon produced by Aquabounty are the first genetically modified animals approved for human consumption in the U.S. Some advocacy groups have been fighting against what they call frankenfish. Despite their efforts, consumers still may not know what they're eating. Consumers aren't going to see the words GMO or GE. They will see BE or bioengineered instead. So the first thing consumers need to know is those are the same. Gregory Jaffe with the Center for Science and the Public Interest says since most restaurants don't provide ingredient lists on their menus, it's likely most won't disclose when their food is genetically modified, including the salmon. The law does Congress exempted restaurants um, and also parts of supermarkets that prepare food that you take to eat, either eat there or to take home to eat, aren't required to do any disclosure. To produce its fish, Aqua Bounty injects its fish with DNA from other species. This is a perfect video for a non-believer that thinks that they're not eating fake food. 
you see right here in the video that they have they 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 made they made pools for they made up laboratory pools for fish and this is how they making genetically modified uh fish man who gave you devils the right to do this man that's why we say that you are the devil that the bible speaks of man and the most i gonna take your ass out man you know you got the nerve to lock up uh these fucking degenerates out here for doing stupid shit to the foods but here it is he it's okay for him you know to play around uh and, and uh you know to play around and, and uh experiment with foods and, and have and have us eating it man you know who gonna lock this devil up well i'm gonna tell you how about shimmy i was shy man when that time is right when the, when the prophecies be fulfilled this allows it to grow full size in 18 months it's a win for the company as less feed is required so salmon farming in general is not a very sustainable industry um it's a carnivorous fish. You need about five kilos of other wild fish's feed to make one kilo of salmon. It's almost like farming tigers in the sea, from that point of view. Aqua Bounty worked through years of government approvals. Several grocers in the U.S., including Kroger and Whole Foods, vowed to not sell the fish as a result of a consumer campaign. As it stands, most corn and soy in the U.S. is already genetically modified to be more resistant to pests and herbicides, something that many health advocates say is ruining the health of our gut. When it's poured into the soil, it, it kills all the bacteria in soil and plants. It does the same thing for our body. So when we consume the food that has glyphosate, it goes in and kills all the bacteria in our gut. But according to Finless Foods, genetic engineering isn't the only way to produce fish. The startup company is harvesting fish grown from cells in a lab. CEO Mike Selden says people are becoming more concerned about mercury and plastics found in fish. There are all sorts of people out there who have done animal cell culture in, in large quantities. Right now, Samsung is building the largest animal uh, cell production facility in the world, in, in Korea. And so that model can really be expanded and can be used in our industry as a blueprint of making this at large scale. Right now, Selden says it costs $19,000 to produce a pound of fish, so the technology is still years away. In 2015, two-thirds of Americans voted in support of labeling GMO foods. And while disclosures will begin next year, mandatory compliance won't take effect until 2022. In Los Angeles, Natasha Sweets, RT. We're talking about it won't take effect until 2022. It's already took an effect, you know? Just fed up with Esau, man. Just tired of him, man. Just tired of him. But anyway, uh, this is Ezekiel chapter 4. And uh, let's see, uh, verse 13, I get straight to the point. It says, And the Lord Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread amongst the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. So no matter where you at, you know, you're going to eat defiled foods. You're going to eat GMOs. You know, this is worldwide. This is big business. It saved them a lot of money, you know. They, they inventing new foods, man. They're creating new animals, you know, for you to eat, for you to consume. And meanwhile, you got certain people there, like that woman, the, the, the Moabite woman, telling you that it kills the soil. You know, it, it's going to kill your, 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 your stomach because it don't sit right. This is ain't what, that's not what the Most High created. That's what man created, you know. So anyway, man, may the Lord take this devil out soon, man. You know, so, and speed up his prophecy so that we'll see the kingdom. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.